Welcome back to Mastery Mayhem, everyone. I'm glad to have you all back. We are going to go ahead and do a review and a demonstration of the Atlas 10 inch pole saw from Harbor Freight. Let's get to it. Okay, so what we have here as far as some of the main components of this Atlas 10 inch pole saw is we have the saw head pole here, pulls the chainsaw and the chain guide and the oil. And then we have the extension pole, which is in the middle if you need a little more length to the pole saw. And then we have the handle pole right here where you have the trigger, the battery uh, holder. And then we have the battery that I purchased, which is the 40 volt and 80 volt battery. I purchased the uh, Atlas rapid charger to be able to charge this beast a little faster. So one of the features I really like about the Atlas pole saw is that it has this locking mechanism on uh, both of the extension pieces there. You can see the threading is really spaced out, so it's really easy to screw on. And then on the ends here, this is where it makes contact to transmit the power from the battery to the motor of the chainsaw really nice rugged construction very hard plastic on the ends there for the locking and screwing on of the extension poles uh, and then it's a metal housing here for the pole itself so again very durable very rugged on the uh, saw head pole this is where we have the drive cover and the drive cover lock nut here and it shows you a plus and minus there to take that cover off okay and here we have the tensioning screw right in there or tighten up that chain or loosen it up if you ever have to loosen it up it's right there for you and then here we have the oil gauge and this is the oil cap nice and rugged a solid cap there anyway it's about three quarters of the way full there can't see it but uh, it is in fact the case gives you a nice little indicator there for the oil and this is an automatic oiler so you still have to definitely check it anyway but it should automatically oil it up all right let's go ahead and remove the drive cover uh, right now with the half inch uh, socket to show you guys what it looks like right here the drive motor and whatnot sorry doing this with one hand but there you go and that is the uh, inside look there you have the drive sprocket the guide bar bolt and of course the guide bar so this is all here you have access to it to adjust whatever you need to adjust at any given time so easy access you just have your uh, drive cover right here it's one bolt and to put it back into place you just pop it in place right there you can hand tighten it and then i'll just use my rigid subcompact impact driver just to give it a few clicks there make sure it's nice and tight one or two and we're good to go okay so that's basically the main components of the atlas pole saw here and i have already fully charged this battery four bars ready to go so let's go ahead and put this guy together and then we're going to actually take it uh, into the tree here in my yard. For right now, let's go ahead and put this guy together. I'm going to add the extension bar to the entire uh, setup here because I need the reach. So if you can see here, you just take the orange end and you put place it into the locking mechanism here that we have and just slide this guy. It even has an arrow here showing you where to place it and they should come into place no problem. So now that we have the pole completely assembled, let's go ahead and measure it and see how long it is with the extension bar in place. It's not easy because it's kind of holding on on the chain there. But we have, so 109 inches and a quarter in length, fully assembled or with the extension bar in place. So if we remove the extension bar, take it out about 24 inches. So 109 inches with a quarter minus 24 inches. Save two feet if you take out this uh, extension bar here. Just wanted to show you guys uh, how long that was if you were wondering. Okay, so now let's get the battery in place. This guy is pretty easy to uh, pop into place. Turn this guy upside down and you just click it into place. And this is guys ready to go. It's got a nice balance to it. If you put the battery in, we'll take the charger out of the way here. Okay, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the trigger and some of the features that it has. It's a double trigger here, so we'll go ahead and talk about the trigger. So this Atlas extended pole saw has a trigger lockout feature right here where you can't pull the trigger down unless you have this engaged. You can't even pull the bottom trigger until you slide this forward and now it can engage. You'll hear it. Otherwise, you can't pull the trigger. So it's a nice little safety feature 
that Atlas has uh, provided for us on this model. And of course, this Atlas pole saw comes with a branch hook and a ridged bumper just to kind of give you some more control over the branch as you're cutting it off. That's a nice feature on this as well. Um, and if I did not mention it, it does come with a plastic cover to cover the chain and the chain guide. So that's a nice little protective feature there that it provides in the, in the packaging. We're gonna go ahead and run it a little bit so you guys can hear how it sounds. All right, this is just to give you an idea. This is the decibel reading. I got my mouth about six inches from the microphone on the phone. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and see how loud the decibels or how high the decibels go up. Okay, so that's it. Um, that gives you an idea. It looks like it goes about 104 to 106 on average. Pretty quiet pole saw here, so very happy with it. Uh, and I hope you like the decibel test that I did. I just kind of tells you about how loud it is. Okay, one thing I always like to do is to weigh my tools so I, so I have an idea of how much weight I got to carry around when I'm working. So let's see if we can get this pole saw to balance on my Centex scale. All right, fully balanced. So fully extended the entire unit here at its longest capacity with the extension pole in the middle. It weighs 10 pounds, 13.6 ounces. So not too bad at all for a tool that can reach quite a few feet up, 109 inches up to cut some branches for you. Not bad at all for the weight. 10 pounds, 13.6 ounces, guys. All right, so we got this thing weighed out. We know its length. We got the battery fully charged. We have the chain oiled up. So let's go ahead and take this guy and cut some branches, show you all how it works. Then we'll cut some thicker branches because I do have some of those here behind the shed. And I don't know if you guys know this behind me, we are going, we are working on installing some turf or artificial grass for our whole front yard. And I'm definitely recording that as well. So once I get that video up, I'll definitely have it as a card coming up in the video here to show you guys that whole process while you see some empty dirt patches here. Okay, so you can see these branches up behind me here. We're gonna go ahead and cut some of these branches because they keep falling on our vehicles. And then once I'm done cutting the branches, we can uh, measure some of the dimensions of those branches to see what it can handle. So let's go ahead and do it. Of course, I'm gonna wear eye protection and wear my face cover just to keep the debris from falling in my, my nose and mouth. I always recommend doing that, wearing gloves too, but here we go. These are two of the thicker branches that I cut. This one here and that one there. So let's see the diameter of these thicker branches. So about four and a half inches wide. Cut through it no problem. Let's see the other one is probably about the same width here. Depending on the direction, but yeah, about five and a half inches. About five and a half inches in diameter. Going the longer way. But yeah, I cut through those branches no problem. And by the way, after uh, letting the chain cool off a little bit, it's still Got a nice tension to it. We used it once before, before I did this review at my dad's house because he needed some palm tree branches cut. Here we go. We're gonna test out the Atlas extension pole saw. This is gonna be the first run here. Here we go. This is really high up there on the palm tree. Ooh, there it goes. 
One down. Pretty, pretty easy, huh, Nate? Yeah. There goes the second one. <laughs> and number three. Extension there to get all the uh, dead branches and leaves down. The balance. There it goes. Look at that. Making quick work of it. So I believe I retightened it or retensioned it after we did that job. So right now it's still really nice and tight. Let's see how much battery they used up just for those few branches. Basically, it kind of shows you here these branches here and those guy there, those guys there, and that one in the corner. So let's see if it used up a bar or at all. And we still have four bars, so. You know you can get some work done with this guy. I was able to clear up as much as I needed for the time being. But yeah, I did all this, no problem. Just a whole bunch of branches here that I got rid of. And then I cut this guy about six inches in diameter, no problem. So even after all that work, we got three bars left. So it just ate up one bar. That's really good. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw it, but one of the branches went down with the pole. It got tangled in the branch and it just, uh, it was able to withhold the weight, no problem. Um, the branch hook works really well. Same with these uh, ridges here, no problems. The chain is still, still nice and tight. So no problems there. And it cut with no issues. Really, really happy with this tool. And we're gonna do a test on a 10 inch branch. So we're gonna try that out, see how that works. But we're gonna also take out the extension pole from this so we don't, cause we don't need it to be that long. And I wanna show you guys how to do it. Basically you got the two locking caps here. So you just unscrew them. It's pretty snug. Then you just pull it out. Do the same thing on the other end of the extension pole. Unscrew it. You gotta wiggle it and jiggle it a little bit. And again, just to put it back together, remember, line up the arrows. And it almost has a clicking, it almost makes a clicking sound, but it's more of a stop. Just screw it on, tighten it down, and now you have a shorter pole saw. All right, I'm gonna strap down this uh, log and we're gonna go ahead and cut, cut through it, see how it does. Okay, so as you guys can see, this guy is actually about 10 and a half inches in diameter here. Width wise, let's see height wise, just under 10 inches. So we got it strapped down, ready to go. Let's see it cut through this. It should cut through it, no problem. Okay, so even after cutting that 10 inch log, let's see how much battery life we have left on this uh, 40 volt slash 80 volt battery. 
and it's still three bars left you guys so i went through that log and then you saw all the branch cutting i did as well and it still has three bars left on this uh this massive battery by atlas there it is you just cut it up no problem the chain did loosen up a little bit i just kind of let the weight do it i pushed here and there and as you saw i switched sides uh at one moment because the actual length of the chain guide was a little too short so it wouldn't cut all the way through but I went to the other side and once I did that, it cut through no problem. But this is a great pole saw by Atlas from my experience and the work that I just did with it. If you guys want me to show you a maintenance video on it, how to maintain it properly according to the instructions in the manual, I'll be more than happy to do a video like that for you guys. But as for now, this guy does the job. It does whatever job I need it to do for trimming trees or any kind of shrubs, branches, even lumber if I need to cut those up. Glad I have it. I hope this demonstration video was helpful to you guys. And this is the 10 inch Atlas pole saw that you can find at Harbor Freight. It's on sale right now, I think for 119. That is just the bare tool, no battery. Uh, and then the battery is like $59, I think. And then the charger is $29, something like that. Uh, I'll put the correct uh, prices here on the screen. We here at Mastering Mayhem appreciate you guys tuning in. So any type of comments, feedback, uh, shares, clicking of the bell notification, and of course subscriptions will always help me continue to make videos for you guys that are useful informative helpful things like that like you guys know we want to make videos uh, that have to do with tech tools diys and deals that help make your life a little easier and work a little more efficient and so until next time we here at mastering mayhem only hope all the best for you and yours